Hello and welcome to this Project in a Box video tour. In this session we're going to be having a look through the methodologies that are supported by the Project in a Box products. So this slide just lays out which methods there are and which products support them. So down the left hand side we have the different methods and across the top here we have the different products. Community Edition, completely free, unlimited use. Uh, personal edition, £99, and allows you to customise the methods, so hence we here we have the build your own methods option switched on. Small team and enterprise editions are multi-user platforms, hence they support the multi-user type of uh, high level structured methods, uh, as well as the, uh, the rest of the standard project and, and program type methods as well. Um, so we have our generic method templates here, these are our own uh, our own methodology designs. They use PRINCE2 templates by and large as, long, as well as some of the templates we've produced. Um, same goes for the PPP method here which is to support sales process. Then we have the three official license methods, DSDM Attorn and PRINCE2 and MSP. DSDM Attorn is provided free across the full range of products. PRINCE2 is a commercial add-on and MSP is commercial add-on except in the Enterprise Edition where it's included for free. So that's a quick overview of those. Let's have a look through uh, a summary slide of each one. So here we have the PRINCE2 resource pack. Um, this is a set of the PRINCE2 templates, the official PRINCE2 templates, plus some extra ones uh, that we've included uh, and produced ourselves. We produced the official pack as well, actually, so they're all in the same style. Uh, they laid, they're laid out uh, in templates grouping uh, at a project and stage level, so there's no process diagram navigation here. Uh, just a simple selection of the templates, provided links to the glossary and links to the process diagram as well, uh, and you can then use this to document your project. Nice and straightforward. The generic, uh, the one-step generic process here is really for things that are below the level of a project. So if you've got a task that you're doing but you want to manage it in the same sort of approach and system that are used for your other projects. So uh, uses work package templates and also templates to collect task risk issue information so that can be linked into users personal profiles uh, alongside other more significant project work they're doing. Nice and straightforward you can collect, create as many of these as you want to supported across all the different products. Three-step generic process for slightly more sophisticated projects, still essentially low complexity though, but we're nearly, you know, we're properly into the project type model now. And this is one of the most popular methods that we provide. Uh, concept, identifying what's required for the project, start to start up your project, deliver to deliver your project, and close to close out your project. Uh, provides a range of templates using PRINCE2 templates and also other templates we've provided all hooked into task risk, issue management, etc. And this is standard across all the products. Four-step generic process. This uses the same framework as the three-step for the project level, um, but it allows you to add multiple deliverable packages within there. We're calling them work packages here, but they can be a Prince documented type of stage, they can be uh, an agile iteration with time boxes etc, they can be anything else that you want them to be uh, and we provide uh, a purchasing approach uh, for an external purchase and also a desk study documentation type activity as well. You can build your project up to have as many of these different combination elements as you want to. Uh, in our commercial products you can of course also add on extra packages of work like that that can be built into your project. So this gives you great flexibility to document and manage the project when you're not necessarily sure exactly how it's going to uh, be set out from the start. Five step is another one of our long term generic methods, very popular uh, approach for more substantial projects. Um, it, uh, it builds on the three step with uh, a stages element in here, which includes stage plans and work packages, product descriptions, etc. So you can break down the complexity of your project into manageable elements uh, and includes a direction process as well. Again, templates provided. Uh, integrated into task risk issue side of things for the project uh, management. DSTM Return, this is an agile method. Uh, it uses um, the, the same sort of approach of a project level of, of documentation, uh, identifying the requirements, and then 
iterations and time boxes as we cycle through knocking off the most important requirements to deliver the project successfully. Again, standard across all the range of products uh, includes a, a set of guidance material as well. PPP is Proposal Preparation Process. It's a method uh, that we've produced uh, to enable you to manage your bids uh, and uh, opportunities in the same way that you would manage your projects. So taking through a more formal process so that that's all documented. If the project's successful, you can then take that documentation into a project. If it's unsuccessful, you've got that there and it's audited and, um, and documented for review purposes later. Prince2 method template, this is again a licensed product. Um, it provides the same template pack that's used in the Prince2 resource pack, uh, plus uh, some extra materials that we've provided ourselves. And this is navigated via Prince2 diagrams. So it's got the diagrams, same diagrams that are in the manual. Uh, it's also got hints and tips from the manual as well, uh, which allows you to uh, keep all that process nice and authentic. This is a commercial add-on, you need to buy it for the particular type of um, uh, product of project in a box that you're using, so the price range varies depending on the, the product you'll want to implement this on. MSP, again a licensed product, this includes the full set of templates for managing successful programs, also some guidance materials and again is set up for navigation from the diagrams. So again, nice popular addition for uh, in particular our larger uh, customers who are working with programs and multiple projects. So now we get on to the slightly different sort of methods. These are methods that we anticipate people creating just the once. So you create one lessons learned library on your server, you uh, share into it documents from the projects that you think will be useful in the future for lessons such as lessons learned logs, um, also project diaries, risk and issue registers, uh, things of that type. Those are live shared so as they're updated in the project that content is updated effectively in the lessons learned library um, and people can go in and search lessons learned library uh, for indexed terms to find projects that have come across particular same particular issues they're interested in. Uh, as projects get deleted from the server, the shared nature of these documents means they're retained forever on the lessons learned library, so over a period of time you'll build up a large stock of content which will be available for people to, to search. So this isn't obviously going to um, uh, make people search it in any way, but it gives them a single point where they can go and find all things that are going to be relevant from previous projects. PMO best practice is a method template as many of our best method templates are that's born from practical experience. It's where uh, customers have said well you know we've got all these project methods but actually we want somewhere where we can hold all our best practice information, policies, processes, uh, guidance notes, uh, exemplars of best practice or things that you shouldn't do and we want to make all that available to the project teams. So this is again a method where you create just one copy of it. You can give everybody in the organization, if you want to, view only access to see the content, search it, view items, etc. And discipline leaders have the ability to be able to add things to this area. So they can update the guidance notes and procedures, etc. And people can just come in and find things that are relevant to them, all in the same system as their projects and programs and portfolios are held. And in fact, you can also link these back into your methods. So you can provide links to guidance material here into your project method. So as each new project is created, they all share links back to the same pieces of guidance here. Great for implementing uh, P3O, you know, as you mature um, into wanting a more structured, documented approach, um, this is exactly the sort of tool that you can use. And of course it's all personalizable, so you can brand it up to match your own organization's requirements. You can set up the categories to match what you need. And of course, one of the key things that makes Project in Box very different uh, from other systems is this is all set up so that you can personalize, customize these methods. You can use them straight off the shelf uh, or you can 
customizing to match your own needs, simply changing the templates with logos and language changes, but you can also change the navigation diagrams and the branding of those, the color schemes that are used, the setup for reporting, all those other sorts of things, so you can make it match exactly what you want it to be in your organization. Now for many customers who already know what they want, we can help them do that. But actually we also provide the tools for free to our commercial customers so that they can personalize the methods that they use to match exactly what they want them to be. Um, and this is a very popular uh, element to be able to do that. Um, and obviously over a period of time we often feed those sort of changes and, and learnings back into our standard methods. But it's customers doing the things that they need which makes this particularly useful. So just to recap that, generic methods, off-the-shelf licensed methods, and also sort of program organizational type methods. Here um, you can see very clearly what you get in each one. You can even start with Community Edition. You can start building and working on your projects. And if you want to then upgrade to our commercial platforms, you can take the projects with you and use them uh, against those newer methods on the, uh, on the commercial platforms. So the platforms, Community Edition, completely free. You can use it for as long as you want to on as many projects as you want to. Personal Edition allows you to then customize the methods uh, if you'd like and also includes reporting against the content in those projects. And that's, again, a single uh, user license tool, £99. We then get our multi-user platform, Small Team Enterprise. Edition and Enterprise Edition are both exactly the same technical product. There's some method differences, but they are the same technical product, just licensed at two different levels. One licensing for up to 20 users for uh, smaller teams, and then you can choose the mix of licensing you want, which starts at £4,000 for bigger organizations. Planner, completely free tool for doing task, risk, issue, plan, cost, management on your projects and provided supporting all four of the, the main methodology type platforms. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, methodology is very much at the heart of what we do at Project in a Box and it's distinctly different from what you'll find in other project and portfolio management systems. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, there's some plenty of further video tours here taking you through exactly how all this stuff works in practice in the tools. Thank you.